okay today we going on a boat trip this guy in front of us he's been asking us every day for the last three days if we all go on a boat trip so he's taking us on a boat trip today so. okay our driver has to work <laughs> hello <laughs> Okay, so now the man who's steering the boat here has put some uh, chickens in the water. So it's a pretty incredible sight that's going on around us here. Didn't expect something like this today. some motorbikes are wide infield and a scooter to mommy yeah so we are driving today around Goa today so now we are going to Turtle Beach Oh, we're still here at Turtle Beach. This is a Christian church. It was all used to be a Portuguese for 450 years. So that's the reason we'll be seeing Christian churches around here. This is a Gonda beach, a Gonda that's a, still a kind of authentic fishing village resort. Let's have a look what it looks like. hiring some motorbikes again today. Well, this is the first of two waterfalls we're going to see today. And luckily the monsoon season just finished so we can actually see water flowing here, otherwise it's just dry. Oh, just turned up at a lunch. Place for lunch here. Now we just got some bread from the German baker this morning and now we're sitting here by the waterfall. Some guys over there, they work on cruise ships so they've actually been to Denmark. <laughs> Just giving us some fish to try that they caught in Goa. <laughs> okay, see you. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
Krishna. Make it, make it video. So this is our last day here in uh, Palolem, Goa. Goa. Been here now for pretty much two weeks. I can't really believe that. It feels like five days, but oh, two weeks have gone by. So we came here to learn uh, yoga. And, uh, that's what we've been spending most of our time on. So uh, we've been practicing what's called a uh, Hatha. Hatha. Hatha yoga. Hatha yoga. Yeah, which is mainly uh, exercises and uh, breathing techniques but yoga is much more than just an exercise class it's all about spirituality and also uh, meditation and so it's kind of uh, using your body and also your mind that's what, uh, what we came to learn here we have been told that not many indians do yoga it's something they do in the in the big cities but but not out in the villages we thought all Indians did yoga, but they don't apparently. No. Yoga was actually lost. It was practiced th thousands of years ago, but then it was lost. And then uh, in the 20th century it got popular again, but mainly for Western people. So all the yoga classes here, it's mainly full of Western people. There was actually a few Indians, but not many. It's uh, mainly Western people. Even the yogis that are teaching us here, they didn't learn it from their, their parents and grandparents. It's something they've learned themselves in the yoga schools. So. Uh, yeah, we didn't realize that. But yoga is not just about exercise. It's also uh, it's the only exercise form where you use uh, a lot of strength, but you also get relaxed at the same time. It's a combination of a uh, combination of uh, flexibility and uh, strength, and a lot of strength, but also a uh, relaxation at the same time. It's the only it's the only exercise form where you leave the class feeling relaxed as well. You'd normally sports in the west we're just uh, concerned about performance performance and as fast as you can go here it's all about controlling your body but also relaxing as well using breathing techniques and including relaxation into the class as well so we enjoyed that okay how goa is is uh, not you need to now we tell what we have experienced we have experienced dogs on the beach and cows on the beach and cruise on the beach. On beach. <laughs> you need to look what you where you're walking on the beach. Mm. Yeah. Yes. And don't think there are five star big hotels here. There are only small small houses you can stay in. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's very primitive behind the the beach is beautiful and the the sunset like we're going to see now is beautiful. But behind it's still a authentic fishing village you see fishing uh, fishers taking their boats out in the morning and the, ha the houses behind us are mainly shacks that are, a lot of them are still closed down because of the monsoons they're just rebuilding a lot of the huts they get built every year so they're nothing fancy very primitive but that's the way it is in india so yeah okay the reason we came to go was to learn yoga so we've been going basically to two classes a day one in the morning eight o'clock and one at um, four o'clock in the afternoon for one and a half hour so the, the morning class was uh, quite nice really nice start to the day nice and gentle the one in the afternoon was much more hard work it's more, you have to pretty be pretty strong to go to that class it was hard work we were yeah. completely sweating at the end of it and uh, you need a lot of strength and full plank and all that yeah so that was it you don't uh, you don't need to lift weights to, uh, to become strong you just need to do yoga yeah. funny enough but uh, then we've also tried a sound meditation. We actually did that today, our last class. Did that twice. That was really good. And uh, we also did Reiki healing. Well, that was Meta that did that. 
Yeah. And we also went to a theory class to learn some of the theories. So. Sound meditation. Yeah. Sound, sound meditation. meditation yeah. And we tried where a few you, different things. Where you yeah. hit some balls. Okay, so now in a few minutes we'll enjoy our last sunset. That will be the last sunset here in Goa. And then from here tomorrow we're flying to Delhi. We'll be there for three days and then we're flying to Nepal, Kathmandu. Kathmandu. And there Meda's parents are coming to meet us there. Oh, so 11 days? Yeah, 10, 11 days, yeah. So that'll be nice. We've got a putting kind of plan together now in Nepal, going to uh, see Kathmandu and also doing a bit of hiking and going on a jungle safari. So that'll be great. And after Nepal met us going back to, to Denmark, we've been trying to talk her into staying, but uh, it's not working, so <laughs> she's going back home, she's done now. And then uh, me and Jamie will carry on cycling in uh, Southeast Asia, is the plan at the moment. We're not exactly sure where we're going, it's just a rough plan, but we're putting a plan together. So uh, that's the basic plan after Nepal, but we'll, we'll see how it goes and uh, see where we end up going. Well, that's it really. We'll uh, go and enjoy the sunset now, enjoy our last dinner. This is the restaurant behind us, this is the place we've been staying. So, enjoy the sunset. Tomorrow we'll uh, pack and we'll go to Delhi. Okay? Bye bye. See you on the airplane, maybe. Yes, <laughs> bye bye. jam session going on there with a singer and her boyfriend and then there's another guy I know I know I know I know I know I know Doesn't really matter when you're in Goa. Just one day in October. Yeah. <laughs>